reincarnated. I was stargazing. Life goes on. I need all my babies. Once more, Kendrick Lamar has ignited the music industry. He finally dropped the much-awaited music video for Not Like Us. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The video has many obvious and not so obvious Easter eggs, but one of the more prominent ones appears right at the start. In fact, in the first 20 seconds of the video, he teases new music and gives listeners a sneak peek at an unreleased song. The news that he will be releasing new music has audiences ecstatic. Introspection, which is Lamar's signature, introduces the music video. Ownership, the, blueprint is by me. the distinctive sound of Mustard, who has come to be associated with the West Coast sound, provides the beats backing. A still image of the Compton Courthouse appears at the beginning of the video. Next, a flashing black and white image of Kendrick in a hallway appears. Lamar's lyrics paint a vivid picture of his evolution as an artist and a person. Reincarnated, I was stargazing. Life goes on, I need all my babies. It seems to be him entering a new era. He combines themes of family and rebirth with his trademark mix of societal critique and reflective reflection. Fans are giddy over Whitney L. Ford's appearance in the Not Like Us video. In the Drake feud, social media users are asserting that Kendrick Lamar has triumphed once more. Kendrick, he has demonstrated that he is a visual storyteller in addition to a songwriter. Reactions to his new music video, Not Like Us, which dropped today have been exploding on social media. People adore it. Listeners have been picking sides in the hip-hop war that has been going on for a few months while they wait to see what will happen next. In fact, fans are carefully dissecting every scene and aspect of the music video now that it is out. Viewers from all around the world are paying close attention to and analyzing each frame. One of the most striking elements of the video is the appearance of his fiancée, Whitney L. Ford, alongside their children. This visual representation serves as a direct response to recent claims made by Drake and his diss track Family Matters, where he took aim at Lamar's relationship with L. Ford. In Family Matters, Drake made several accusations about Lamar's family life. He suggested issues between Lamar and L. Ford that painted Lamar in a negative light. However, Lamar's Not Like Us video flips this narrative on its head. Furthermore, the video showcases Lamar and Alford dancing together with their children. This scene not only completely rebuttals Drake's insinuations but also reinforces the two's dynamic of a happy family. Responses to the video on social media have praised Lamar's performance. The disparity between Drake's charges and the positive portrayal of Kendrick Lamar's family and Not Like Us has been emphasized by numerous fans. Kendrick's family is so cute, wrote one reviewer, expressing a sentiment that many others share who value the sincerity and optimism in the film. It is impossible to exaggerate the importance of Alford's presence. Alford makes a strong statement of solidarity and support by being in the video. Lately, LL Cool J has been in the news a lot. He released the hit song Saturday Night Special and said some divisive things about Andre 3000's flute playing. By far the most talked about topic in 2024 for rappers is the Drake vs. Kendrick Lamar feud. Well, you talking about the battle? Yes! I mean, Kendrick won the battle. I mean, come on. In a recent interview, LL discussed the subject in great detail with T.T. Torres of Hot 97. That, that's a no-brainer. Listen, I like Drake. I, don't, I love his music. He's a cool dude. Though not particularly revolutionary in terms of position, this is an interesting point of view from someone who has had beef in the past. Torres was informed by LL Cool J that Kendrick Lamar was the clear victor of the match. Yeah, that might have been a bad choice. It you know was I mean? very strategic. Yeah. Though hip hop fans largely agree, the rapper did make a point of giving Drake his due. It ain't like Drake like completely and totally, utterly played himself. Cool J then made the comment that caught most fans' attention. He suggested that the Six God ultimately made a bad choice when he decided to butt heads with Dot. The conversation was expanded by LL Cool J who is often seen as a foreigner of Drake's R&B-influenced sound. He asserted that both Drake and Kendrick Lamar have cemented their positions by placing them inside the larger framework of rap history. It was great for hip-hop culture, don't get it twisted, LL noted. Both of their names will be etched in history because of it. The rapper also reminded fans how good the Drake disses were, even if they were overshadowed. Even us just talking about it now is etching it into history. He concluded. Both of them are super talented, they both did great. It ain't like Drake completely and utterly played himself. Drake needs to get ready. Already number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Not like us it has already generated 12 viral videos since going viral. Additionally, it was the theme song for Junatine's legendary pop-out show featuring Kendrick Lamar. The music video is about to arrive. Although Lamar hasn't yet provided fans with an official release date, he has shared some preview photos. Not unexpectedly, they are flawless. They not only perfectly match the song's tone, but they also made fresh and surprising jokes about Drake. One of the most targeted pieces of humor is an OVO panada. Kendrick Lamar can be seen smashing a panada 
Kanata shaped like Drake's iconic OWL logo in one of the four teaser images that were released. The picture may not have much subtlety, but it's nonetheless powerful. There's a disclaimer at the bottom of the photo just in case you missed it. The disclaimer says, rather cynically, no OVO hoes were harmed in the making of this video. It's easy to picture the plethora of memes and gifs that will be created in response to the release of the Not Like Us video. Interesting details about the music video can also be gleaned from the other images. Whitney Alford, the rapper's fiancé, makes an appearance with the artist and their kids. Lamar also asks for support from every member of the TDE roster. Beside their fellow black hippie brethren are J-Rock, Schoolboy Q, and Absol. Punch and Anthony Top Dog Tiffith also make brief appearances, demonstrating the longevity of their friendship with Lamar. Other pictures are a little more surreal, they will probably make more sense in the music video's setting. This is particularly noticeable in the picture when Lamar is seated in a white room. Drake is undoubtedly one of the most successful musicians in the world, but as his spat with Kendrick Lamar has demonstrated, not everyone is made of stone. In general, supporters think Drake lost, and severely. Furthermore, there's no denying that Wednesday was a rough day for the Toronto musicians given that Kendrick hosted the pop-out the previous evening. Five times straight, the song Not Like Us was played. In addition, Whitney L. Ford attended the performance, debunking some of the myths surrounding Drizzy's diss tracks. After the show, some speculated about Drake's possible response. We do know, after all, that he enjoys browsing the internet to see what others are talking about. Recently, OVO Mark shared a picture of the OVO team with Drake. The famous person is seen wearing a shirt that reads revenge. Fans are focusing on the word itself, albeit it goes without saying that this is an Ian Connor brand. Some people now think that a song, music video, or even a diss track is being worked on. Drake appeared to be chilling on social media in spite of this. Our reasoning for saying this is his Instagram story, where he just posted the word Summer League. Drake's exact meaning behind this is unknown, but we're sure to find out soon. One thing is for sure, though, the pop-out rekindled everyone's feelings and ideas over the dispute. That doesn't help Kendrick at all for the time being. But for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.